should be the first project, which is blinking an LED. You can see here if I line that up. Okay, so that's going to be my first project, supposedly, and I should have the components I need. So I got the jumper cables, the resistor, the LED, the Arduino, and the prototype shield. Um, as far as I can tell, all of the projects that come with the DF Robot kit use the prototype shield, though you can probably also translate them to a breadboard. Touch a couple pieces of metal just to ground myself for the sake of it. Open this up here, I think. And here's the Arduino. See if I can focus in on that. So now, as far as I know, I've attached the prototype shield. I think that's as far down as it goes. Certainly hope so. Let's see, I need two jumper cables. Try and get them out without breaking the cables. <laughs> okay, here's, here's one. Here's two. Probably be good manners if I got the right color of cable, but get a resistor out. If I can open the bag. There we go. Got resistors here. These components are a lot smaller than I anticipated. And I'll get a LED out of here. These are all just loosey goosey. And the, the longer one should be the positive, so I can just put that in pretty much wherever. And I gotta remember that I put the long one on the right there. I think that's sufficiently in. Now I gotta take a resistor here and figure out how to separate it. Okay, I think I can just peel it out of there. And I'm gonna need that for the positive terminal. Should be in there now. Put this one over here. I think that's inside. So I'll zoom in on that for now. See if I'm correct. And then I'll need two jumper cables. One will go to the negative here. That's definitely in there. And that will be attached to the the ground. Which is hopefully this pen. So that should be uh maybe that is not the ground. Because the ground should be the second pen, it looks like. It looks like the labeling is not... Yeesh. Not quite lined up with the pen, so... That should be the second green pen, as far as I know. So right, right now what I'm trying to do is... See if... See if that's actually the ground. Because if that's not the ground, that could be a problem. I'm going to look on the the wiki 
see if that correlates. I'm going to say the ground is the second pin to the from the left and hope I'm correct. Then I'll get my other jumper cable that's going to pin 13. Should be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm pretty sure there's like a different layout of the prototype shield than actually in the examples here. Cause that might be pin 12. Yeah, it looks like pin 12, I think. So that's one. Let's count them. That's pin zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That that appears to be thirteen. Though actually, the the online instructions, which are different apparently, they use pen ten, and I definitely know where pen ten is. So I'm probably gonna use pen ten for the sake of simplicity. So that's seven, eight. 9, 10. And that would go to the the power, which would be to the resistor. So what I think, I think that's a, a proper circuit. So what I think happens is it takes power from here, goes through the, hops through that resistor, jumps forward into the LED, and then it goes through the LED and then goes through the negative to the ground. And hopefully that does work. So I'm gonna set up my Arduino environment. I'm gonna set up my Arduino environment and then see if it works. So I've added myself to proper users. I am going to verify the sketch and it says it's fine. I'm gonna try uploading it again. So to port ACM zero. And what do I get? Does not look like I get anything. It says it's done uploading, which means I did something wrong. It's quite possible my ground point is incorrect or I'm using the wrong pen. So I get to unplug this and try some, try modifying it. It's actually qu quite the fit. So not really any good spot to pull out that USB from. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure it's completely in there as well. Oh, that was way out of there. So before I try modifying it, I'm just gonna plug it back in and see if it works now. That was definitely not all the way in. But yeah, that still does not work. So I'm gonna make sure it's port 10 and I got the right ground. Wiggle that out. Make sure everything's in all the way. As far as I can tell it is. It could be port nine, but I think yeah, I think ground is different in this board than the instructions. I'm going to try moving it to, to the third pin. And let's see what happens. And nothing. No, actually it is blinking. The LED, though it is very difficult to see, is in fact blinking. So that is the ground, the third pin there. It's gonna be impossible to see on camera, but it is blinking. So we have made fire. So I have successfully created a simple circuit, just barely, <laughs> and it works. So, 
We have a blinking LED. Just as a quick update, I was going to render this video, but I figured out what my problem was. So it turns out it's actually the fourth pin from the left is ground, apparently. Now that I have the ground on that, the LED is much brighter, and it's quite visible. Thanks for watching.